Hey guys, Peter here from Sigma. Just wanted to show you some of the bracket options that we have for mounting the DK2 or DK2 Plus or the DK6 actuators um, to your rig. The, the brackets are very important. It's something that people kind of overlook. Um, but as you can imagine, um, you know, these actuators are moving very quickly, very abruptly. Um, and the haptics and the vibrations that are being pushed through these actuators um, need to be transferred to your butt or to your to, to your body. So what that means is you definitely need not just a, a, a solid body, a solid piston, good mounting, but you also need a good bracket to connect to your chassis, to your aluminum extrusion chassis. So uh, we originally started with such a bracket design, as you can see here. So this is for the DK2 and DK2 Plus and even DK6. Um, on the DK2 and DK2 Plus, we only have one mounting option, which is at the top, and this is suitable for most applications, um, especially since the actuator is not too tall. Whereas the DK6, here's an example of DK6 housing without the motor. As you can see, it's much longer. And being longer, we also had a lot more material here to uh, mount uh, a bracket to and allow the customer to have various um, heights um, of their rig. So you can imagine if, 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 for example, we stayed with the same mounting position right here, uh, now the, the rig becomes much higher, sits off the ground higher, maybe it's easier to get into, but now things like the monitor mount um, and everything else has to be adjusted. And as you can imagine, it's not only sitting this high now, as opposed to, let's say, this high, um, it's also going to be traveling a lot more with the DK6 because we have six inches of travel here and two inches of travel there. So we had to basically come up with a different bracket. Not much of a change as you can see here, just the whole pattern there is slightly wider apart. And again, that allows us to mount the bracket either here, here, or here. Also anodized black, matte black, which looks pretty good. All right, so you can go like this, like this, like this. And if you did have a requirement to mount it all the way at the top, for whatever reason, or that's your preference, just let us know. We can obviously accommodate that as well. And then uh, last year or the year prior, companies like Sabelt and SimLab um, started releasing uh, extrusion that was much more wider, and it didn't have all the slots uh, in the side profile. So this is why we released the extended bracket, which is here, again, available in two other colors besides our tumbled finish. Um, and in this case, I'll use black again, demonstrate. Um, you have the option of mounting the bracket just in the one position right there. Again, keeping it nice and low, very solid connection, uh, having basically all the 20 mil M8 bolts uh, spread out like this um, is, is an excellent connection, very good mating surface as well. Uh, but if you wanted to, for example, to still use the top holes, you still can do that um, or if you don't need the extended bracket and you want to mount high, like I said before, you can just use the standard DK2 bracket like this as well. Um, so again, in order to standardize everything, um, we used to provide with the DK6 um, two lengths of bolts, the 25 and the, and the 20, uh, mainly because the, the 20 millimeter bolt would sit in there and the 25 would sit in there. Uh, but in order to keep everything kind of the same and take some of the advice that you guys were uh, giving over YouTube and some of the YouTube reviews is we actually recessed or made the um, hole on the new brackets slightly deeper. It's kind of hard to see, kind of like that, which means that the bolt no longer sits flush, but it does sit deeper inside the cavity and it still gives us the bite that we need to sit either here or there or anywhere else. Actually, it'll be on this side. Just like that. So you get one type of bolt now. You don't have to figure out where's, whether it goes into the actuators or the top part of the actuator or the chassis. Um, and you also have your three, uh, two choices of colors with the extended bracket um, as well as with the DK6 bracket. Um, yeah, and again, just to kind of hone in on the fact that the, that the bracket is very important. So these are milled out of um, 6061 aluminum here in our in our uh, factory uh, sold directly to the consumer um, and it needs to be solid um, again this is going to be going through 
uh, years of abuse, years of uh, um, vibrations, motion, sudden changes of acceleration. Um, so I can't stress enough how important a proper bracket is and a proper mounting surface. Also keeping the, um, the bracket really close to the extrusion is good. Anytime you, 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 you push the bracket off the extrusion with any kind of uh, mount, you induce flex or yield over time or, or at one point or another. Um, you do get um, different kind of moments of inertia as well once that actuator is or the, or the footprint of the chassis spread out. So we think uh, in, in terms of having the best kind of bracket and best kind of compromise, uh, th this is the, the solution that we really like and a lot of our customers like as well. And I hope it makes sense. Thanks, guys.